अस्सलाम वालेकुम कैसे हैं आप लोग आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग फाइन वेलकम यू ऑल टू द ओरिएंटेशन सेशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट डिवीजन कोर्स ऑफ एफसीपीएस पार्ट 1 फॉर अगस्त 2023 एज होस्टेड बाय मेडिकल्स एकेडमिक्स आई एम डॉक्टर मोहम्मद अली रबानी एंड आई विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू द ओरिएंटेशन सेशन अलोंग विद माय कोलीग्स डॉक्टर फाइज अकराम सिटिंग राइट हियर विद मी and dr sidra arshad so i will uh, ask dr sidra to introduce herself and to take on the session from here on thank you dr ali assalam alaikum to everyone i am dr sidra arshad and we are going to start by telling you about what you are going to be expecting from this course so these are our salient features we are going to have the live classes every night at about 9:30 pm we are going to take you through the live sessions we are going to cover the most pertinent topics related to subjects of anatomy physiology pathology pharmacology biochemistry we have divided our schedule in such a way that you will be uh, dealing with the important topics not only just in the form of the lectures but you will also be having practice tests afterwards just to reinforce what you have learned obviously you are studying on your own so these practice tests are going to help you consolidate what you have just learned and what you have gained from the live classes uh, due to shorter of time we are not going to go into the deep discussions we are only going to discuss those topics which are frequently in the part one examination so these practice tests are going to help you with that after this is over the very same we have live test discussions these discussions are going to help you out in a way that there are certain questions which are quite confusing there answer for example there can be multiple answers for one question and they can cause confusion so we are going to see how to attempt to innovate that you do not get confused in the actual test so this is our very first time so we are offering 50% introductory discount this is a great feature for every one of you and we are going to encourage you to join and let your friends know as well the team which is involved in imparting these lectures and involved in the making of practice tests and live discussions we have all completed our fcps in basic medical sciences and we hope that we can help you out and dr ali please next slide as i have already told you i am dr sidra arshad i am assistant professor of physiology i have done my mbbs from mnd sultan and i have completed my fcps physiology i have also done chp in from shifa tamil nadu university and now i'll ask dr faizal gram to please introduce herself assalam alaikum i am dr faizal gram I am also assistant professor of physiology at CMH Institute of Medical Sciences, Multan. Um, I have done FCPS in physiology. Also, I have done a diploma in health professional education from Shifata Mere Milat University. Um, other than that, I have done masters in public health and masters in business administration. I have almost six years of experience in teaching physiology. Also, I have experience in teaching FCPS Part One courses previously. Um, all of the team is involved actively in teaching, making tests, and we are all subject specialists. And above all, we all will be available for you wherever you need our help. Other than the lectures and test also we will be available to answer your queries as much as we can and also we are all subject experts whenever we talk we will have some reference with us from the standard textbooks so hope to have a wonderful time with all of you uh, welcome you all on board thank you very much and over to dr ali assalam alaikum i am dr mohammad ali rabani Uh, I think by the degrees and uh, our video, you would have guessed my relation with Dr. Faizal Kram. Uh, 
uh, I'm working as assistant professor of anatomy in CMH Multan Institute of Medical Sciences. I completed my undergraduation from Nishtar Medical College, Multan, and uh, then followed to complete my FCPS anatomy from CMH Multan. And uh, I, I have also completed my certificate and diploma courses in health professional education from Shifa Tamir Millet University. I think Dr. Faiza has added most of the things I wanted to say. So uh, looking forward to meeting you all in the uh, our classes and tests. And I hope so we can be helpful for you. Thank you so much. Dr. Sidra, please over to you. Thank you, Dr. Faiza and Dr. Ali. Okay, let's go quickly over the timetable which has been shared on our social media handles. Repeatedly, we are just going to tell you that we are going to start our live sessions from 1st June and we plan to conclude this course by the uh, on 14th August, inshallah. So the schedule is divided. As you can see, we are going, we are having our introductory session today and then we are going to start with the embryology lectures. These are going to be live lectures happening every day on uh, at about 9.30 p.m. Afterwards, we have divided our schedule in systems. Afterwards, you're going to see that there's going to be a test about embryology, and then the very next day, it is going to be followed by test discussion. Afterwards, we are moving to the uh, thorax. We are going to start with the anatomy of the thorax, and then afterwards, we are going to have lectures on physiology, CVS physiology, pathology, and then respiratory physiology. After this system is over cardiovascular physiology and you're done with respiratory physiology, then there is going to be a test once again, followed by a discussion. Uh, moving onwards, you are going to have the abdomen and pelvis. We are going to start with the anatomy of abdomen, followed by physiology and pathology, and then you're going to have a test on the gastrointestinal system. Afterwards, there is going to be a discussion. We are going to take a short break for the Eid holidays, followed by renal system. Uh, then there are going to be renal physiology lectures, pathology lectures, and then you are going to have a test once again on renal system. Afterwards, we are going to have endocrine system, and we are going to start with endocrine physiology and pathology, and then we are going to have the test once again. Then we'll move on to hematology and then we are going to have the head and neck and cns obviously so these sessions you can see we are going to talk in detail in our subsequent slides about these things you can see this is how the timetable is divided into systems we are going to have lectures followed by the test and then the test discussion so this is our general schedule which has been shared on our social media handles you can find them find it inshallah. next slide please okay so this is very important you have to register yourself for this course because the links to the meetings video recordings and all of the stuff that we are going to share we are only going to share with those participants who have registered themselves through the google form which has been posted on our facebook event page so you have to register and registration is open till 13th june all of the participants who have already registered you are going to have access to these lectures and recordings until the 30th June. If you fail to submit the fee afterwards, then you are not going to follow the sessions. So do not miss out. You are going to enjoy a 50% introductory discount. If you are only partaking in tests and live discussion, you are going to pay rupees 2500 and if you are also signing up for live classes and live discussions about the test, then you are going to pay 5000 So this is our introductory discount, and we do not want you to miss out on that. So please, I repeat again, register yourself by 13th, 13th June. Sorry, uh, You have to register yourself. If you do not register yourself, then you are not going to access the course content, lectures, tests, and everything else. So please, if you have not already registered yourself, go and do that. Let your friends know. Okay. So how you have to join the daily Google Meet session? We are going to hold our lectures on this platform that you have already joined today on Google Meet. 
you have to be able to join the sessions to have access to recordings of the session afterwards. Uh, all of the participants who are going to register, even if they miss out one or two sessions, they are going to get uh, re access to recordings through their emails. So you have to have a valid Gmail account at time of registration because these recordings will only be shared through your Gmail. So please make sure that you have an active acting Gmail account that you can receive these links in. So you will receive the session link via WhatsApp or email on daily basis. You also have a WhatsApp group which you are going to, uh, which we will add you to after you have filled the Google form. Only registered participants, uh, participants, sorry, are going to have the link for this for the meeting subsequently. Only those participants will be allowed into the live sessions who have registered themselves with a valid Gmail account. Next slide, please. And there are going to be certain ground rules, obviously. To have a smooth discussion, you are going to have have your camera and microphone turned off. You may ask any questions anytime by writing them in the chat. If you have a question right in the middle of the lecture session, anytime you can simply write it in the chat box. Facilitator is going to answer the relevant questions at an adequate time. Sometimes you are going to ask a question ahead of the topic which is just going to be discussed. So that question will be answered then. But if the question is going to be very pertinent, it will be answered then and there. Okay, over to you. Thank you, Dr. Chandra. Uh, moving on towards the details of test and live discussion. After every system is completed via lectures, for example, you can see uh, we are going to start with general embryology and then special embryology. Once embryology is over, you are going to have a test of embryology on 6th of June. We are going to keep it live available for you for at least 24 hours. And the template is on Google Forms. We will be sharing you the Google Form link via your WhatsApp or emails. You can only attempt the test if you have a valid Google account, a Gmail ID, which you have given your registration ke time, pe hume diya hai, usi ke upar aapko ye available. Hoga. You can attempt it up to your ease anytime. It will be available online until the next day when we are going to have the test discussion. Uh, similarly, for the next systems, at the end of each system, you are going to have a test at first day and next day we will have a live discussion on that. Um, test and in the test discussions, all the uh, all of the facilitators would be available. Like uh, for the serious system, we have lectures of anatomy, physiology, and pathology, and uh, we are we will welcome you all to put up your queries for the question. Also, apart from the test, uh, you are welcome to ask those questions. We are here to help, and we will try our best to answer the queries with valid references. Another wonderful thing about these tests are that as soon as you submit your test, you will receive the score. You can see your score and you can see the feedback uh, for each question. And we will be adding the feedback specifically for the controversial questions with the reasoning why the answer is right or wrong. Uh, we will get you to, through how to attempt the questions via a video that we have already uploaded on the class, uh, the event page also. You can follow that, how to attempt that. One key thing you need to remember is, if you have not completed your test, please do not submit it. You can come back to the page and attempt the rest of the questions any times and as many times as you want until you have submitted. Because you can submit it only for once, but you can keep it, save it as the draft. Agar aapke paanch questions attempt kiye hain, you have to go somewhere, leave it like this, wo five questions as attempted save ho jayenge. Next time you come back, you can attempt rest of the questions. You can do it in as many shifts as you want, but just save it as a draft. Once you have done, completed your test, you can submit the test and look for your score and formative feedback. And next day, we are going to have the discussion on those MCQs where all of you can have an interactive time with 
all the three facilitators. And don't worry, all of this, if you don't remember some of this or much of this, don't worry, all of this has already been posted on our social media handles. A simple walkthrough using mobile phone or PC is available. And you can always contact us through the phone numbers and emails that are present in our slide. We are always here to help you whenever and however is necessary. In addition to the test, if you have any queries during the lecture, you can post in the chat. We will answer you later on. You can post on the WhatsApp group, on any social media platform of Medicos Academics, the Instagram page, the Facebook page, and we will be there to answer you with proper references. And by proper references, uh, we mean textbooks. And uh, this is not to undermine any of the MCQs books because they have been wonderful in helping us to get a hold of and to get an idea of what, uh, what is important for the exam. But for the sake of uniformity and for the sake of authenticity, we will be giving you references from the textbook rather than the MCQs book uh, for the any controversies. Now I'll hand out to Dr. Sidra and uh, she will be our guide for the subject of pathology, microbiology, pharmacology, and biochemistry. She will walk us through the process of how do, does she want to take the session. Thank you. Uh, as far as pathology and microbiology are concerned, obviously for part one in pathology, these subjects are very important. And those of you who are going to appear for pathology part one, you must be uh, studying everything in detail from uh, good books. So the books that I am going to follow, these are going to be Rapid Review Pathology by Paul Jen. This is an excellent book. It provides you a quick revision guide as well as the important topics which have been summarized beautifully. And obviously, you're going to follow the first aid, which is the gold standard book for the part one exam for US and Minister Step 1. Then you're, I'm also going to share a few important things which have been explained wonderfully in the USMLE Step 1 Immunology and Microbiology Lecture Notes, and then the read notes, which has mentioned the frequently assessed topics in pathology and microbiology. And then as far as the questions are concerned, the MCQs in each and every lecture, we are going to focus on the MCQs as well. So the lecture is going to obviously have the content which is frequently assessed, but it is also going to have MCQs as well. So we after a few topics, we are going to discuss the MCQs. For that, I am going to use the gradient notes by Refuna. Moving on to pharmacology. Pharmacology cannot be made precise enough to be covered just in a couple of lectures. So we are only going to deal with the drugs which act on the central nervous system, cardiovascular system, and our respiratory system. So these drugs will be covered from BRS Pharmacology, first aid, then read source, and of course by MCQs in the this book by Dr. Refula. As far as biochemistry is concerned, this is going to have a few lectures as well. We are going to look into the frequently assessed topics only, and for that we are going to follow the first aid book, then read source, and once again Dr. Refula. So these are the study sources which will be used to walk you through the lectures and also for your assessment part, which is going to be the tests. Next slide, please. Okay, so let's look at the pathology lectures first. We are going to start with the thorax. So in the thorax, we are going to discuss the CBS pathology. CBS pathology will obviously be covered by the sources which I have just mentioned, and we are only going to discuss those topics which have been frequently assessed. We are not going to go into the details of each and everything for obvious reasons because there is a time constraint and you are studying on your own as well. So this is going to be a revision course in which we are going to reinforce the important concepts and help you remember those in ways which you are going to find helpful while attempting your test. So for CVS pathology, we are going to have only a few topics and we are going to look into the details of a few topics and for the rest of them, we are going to make mind maps, schemes, 
to make you to help you remember those things then we move over to respiratory pathology and we are going to go once again only discuss those topics which are frequently assessed as per its your past papers then we'll go through git pathology in one lecture and we are going to uh, talk about only those diseases which are frequently assessed in the past papers this is how we are going to proceed with the renal pathology and endocrine pathology as well as far as hematology is concerned we are going to talk only about the diseases related to red blood cells in our hematology portion and obviously white blood cells as well and i'll be discussing a bit about physiology and then we are going to integrate it with the pathological concepts this is how we are going to proceed with the cns pathology as well and for reproductive pathology general pathology will be covered in one lecture immunology and microbiology these are big big topics so we are going to make mind schemes for you and maps that you can use to uh, use for your revision and this is how we are going to proceed with biochemistry as well and pharmacology will be covered in three lectures we are only going to uh, see the drugs which act on the cardiovascular system and respiratory system and cns so only these drugs will be covered in the pharmacology lectures thank you thank you dr sidra um i will be here by going through the learning resources for physiology you are going to have lectures on it mainly covering the brs physiology and kaplan notes and i will be adding topic wise mcqs inshallah from the main notes radiant notes and sk 14 thanks to all these mcq books that we will be able to guide you what is most frequently asked but first building on the actual concept from the textbook so brs it will be fully covered and also the topics which are not given in brs will be added from get plan notes moving on towards the system wise lectures of physiology uh, we will try to keep it integrated with pathology and anatomy and try to cover each and every aspect wherever possible uh, cvs respiratory physiology git renal endocrine neurophysiology and reproductive physiology and um, of course which speciality are you going to appear in your part 1 exam uh, you will have to emphasize a little more on few of the topics but of course all of you need to have a good grasp on basics of all these topics for example uh, those appearing in anesthesiology need to read a little more about the cvs physiology and respiratory physiology those who are going to appear in gynecology exam will be more focused on the git physiology and those going to appear in ophthalmology they are going to be more focused on the special senses again reproductive physiology is very important for the gynecology part 1 exams so with every system um once we are having the lectures we will keep on emphasizing for which speciality this is most important but of course we recommend that every one of you should have a good command on all of these topics before you appear in your exam thank you very much okay and uh, now let's talk about anatomy <clears throat> of course uh, there are many ways to go around uh, but here are the few books that i think should be followed that are easy to be followed and uh, they contain most of the things for most of the gross anatomy illustrated review of snell's clinical anatomy that should be more than enough it contains most of the points that are covered in the big snell and it's rarely seen that for gross anatomy questions are from outside and of course uh, in the lectures uh, the way i have arranged the lectures i have followed the format of the books mentioned here i will follow the lecture in the format of snell's illustrated review you can open the book as you go along and then i have supplemented it with any additional facts that could uh, that i found that were not present from the tanveer notes and rafiola and sk and we will have 
few questions after each segment so that we break the monotony and we check the learning. The same goes for neuroanatomy. The recommended book would be Kaplan's Neurosciences. And for embryology, I would recommend High Yields Embryology. I know uh, there are some patterns in the examinations. Some uh, times we will we'll just do the MCQs, but we tend to focus more uh, on the basics of the things and the textbook things. As I am one of the sufferers of this, as a aspirant of part one surgery, I was always told that anatomy would be the major component in the examination. But for one reason or another, the bulk I got was from the pathology. And it was unexpected and everyone was angry. But the thing is, that was my exam and I had to live with that result. So that is why we would be fall, uh, focusing more on the subject and uh, then emphasizing on the points rather than going the other way around. As you have seen this slide many a times till now, uh, this is how I would be following for the anatomy section. We would have four lectures for embryology, then thorax, abdomen, head and neck. These are the two larger chunks of our lectures. Head and neck would be covered in four lectures. It will include the cranial nerves also and neuroanatomy. And uh, then we will, uh, in the last, we will have anatomy of pelvis, cranium, and the limbs. Inshallah, uh, the lectures would be sufficiently filled if even if you make the notes from the lectures, you should be covered with review snell and the topics, extra points covered in the read notes and radiant notes. And uh, if there remains any query, we would be here to help uh, in the session online or offline. Thank you so much. This brings us to the end of the session. Uh, any expectation, queries, or suggestion, please keep us posted. Mention on our Facebook page, mention on our WhatsApp group. Uh, we would be very, help, uh, very happy to answer all the queries. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. Hope to see you in the live sessions.